North Korea is ratcheting up the rhetoric again this morning. The rogue nation now saying it has entered, quote, a state of war with South Korea just a day after threatening the U.S. ABC's Rena Ninen joins us now from Washington with the latest. Good morning to you, Rena. And what is the White House reaction to these latest statements from North Korea? Good morning to you, Rob. They're not really surprised. One White House official telling me overnight they do take these threats seriously, but it's become a pattern for North Korea. The White House and the Pentagon are taking additional measures, expanding U.S. ground-based interceptors, as well as early warning and tracking radar. And Rita, how close is North Korea to being able to strike the U.S. mainland? Big question. Yeah, very big question. The head of Northern Command, General Chuck Jacoby, recently told the House North Korea's long-range missile capabilities has moved faster than they had anticipated. A senior Pentagon official tells me they know their capabilities are growing and the U.S. needs to stay ahead of them. But analysts believe they are not capable of striking the U.S. mainland. But the concern is one miscalculation, Rob, in the region could trigger a war neither side wants to enter.